guys and welcome to part two of this tutorial series and today we'll be adding the details of the gun but before we get started we should combine these two objects as one so just click on your handle and your gun model or gun base and then right click and go to connect plus delete click that and as you can see now the whole object is one and then the shading is kinda off so go back into your fong tag and go down to 22 degrees or somewhere around there and it's back to normal so there we go after you've done that create a null object put your cube in the null and then create a bool and put your null object into the bool and right now we're gonna create the trigger hole so make another null put that into the bool and actually let's start to name these so let's name the bool 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 object um, uh, base name this base as well and then the second null we can name cutout because a bool basically in a bool is when you put one object in the bool and then you put another one and that second object will cut out of the first object so let's add a cylinder put that in your cutouts null and then rotate your cylinder 90 degrees and then position it around where the trigger hole would be so that's by the handle and then once again play around with the values so like drag up the radius you can kind of see how it's looking right now So yeah, drag up the radius and just kind of position it in different places to what you think looks best. To me, that looks pretty good right there. Maybe a little more bigger. And then make this editable. Selection, select all. And then you can kind of shape it differently. like so so that is looking pretty good and actually let's drag it down a little more okay so after you've done that we can now just kind of play around with it a little more. Go back into your base. Grab these three polygons. And we're going to extrude them to create this kind of. Like that, so as you can see, it kind of comes down and makes more of the hole. And yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Maybe add a tube. If I can find it, add a tube and put it in the trigger hole area. So go, go down to your cutouts, go down to the cylinder and match up the coordinates to the tube so you can just copy paste copy and then paste that into your tube coordinates 
copy paste and that will make the tube in the exact same area as the trigger hole and then you can kind of play around with the radius of the tube to fit the trigger hole and actually go into your tube go to slice check it and you can kinda play around where you want the tube to be sliced so maybe something like that and that kinda gives it a really cool really cool look to it so after you're done with that we can start adding some detail on the gun so your favorite tools now are going to be inner extrude and extrude so kinda like just grab hold on UL to loop select inner extrude and what that will do is inner extrude the polygons to create more just keep doing that and actually extrude after you've done that and then you can see it kinda creates this cool ring around it with most futuristic guns and then do the same for this and extrude and extrude it outwards this time and then just keep changing it up as you go along so as you can see it gives more detail to it and continue to just play around with the inner extrude and extrude tool so this one you can actually just extrude like you've been doing and then maybe we can like make a site or something that sticks up right here so enter extrude and then extrude it upwards and that will kind of create a cool site down the middle so you would just keep playing around with that as you go around the gun and then now we actually have to add the barrel to the gun so this is pretty easy just go to your tube rotate it 90 degrees and play around with the values so the height all the way up and then position it to where you think it looks best so it looks pretty good to me actually make the barrel a little longer and then you might want to go back into your base model of it and kind of play around with the outsides around the barrel so it looks a little more tech inner extrude extrude it inwards so yeah that looks pretty cool alright and just keep messing with that inner extrude and extrude and I'll see you in the next tutorial so hope you enjoy this and uh,